I'm doing this video on the uh, uh, fairly popular amplifier, the uh, RM300. I've had it maybe a year and a half. It seems to work just fine. It's the uh, uh, only problem I've had with it is the SWR protection circuit gives you a lot of false lockouts with almost no reflected power. At any rate, <clears throat> one of the issues, rather than uh, do too much to the radio, all I've added is a push button override here um, and a pot in the back to adjust the uh, SWR level for where it will trip. And the reason I did this was for whenever you need to tune with uh, an auto antenna tuner. Uh, this is one project I'm working on now and uh, it's ready to pretty much box up, put in a case. It's similar to the, the N7 DDS or DDC uh, uh, 100 watt tuner. You'll see them on uh, eBay for very inexpensive. Um, I got the boards from uh, what I wanted to do was to make a 1KW tuner for uh, using on the, the big rig, the T368. I've got a homemade tuner, remote tuner that's out there now at the antenna. At any rate, um, what I wanted to do was to use this tuner, <clears throat> pretty much the RF board. Uh, this was uh, a Russian version EU2AV. At one time, was selling kits for those. Uh, they aren't no, they're no longer available. But I was able to find the blank boards, and instead of using ferrites, I used uh, regular air wound coils and a big heavy-duty silver-plated silver surplus coil. Um, at any rate, um, and the controller of theirs. I uh, I didn't put in most of the parts. I just used the microprocessor, used the firmware off the N7 DDC control, um, have an external 5 volt supply. And I built this uh, opto isolator board, a little prototype with uh, 15 opto isolators, so that the, uh, the PIC, the uh, PIC controller, uh, its outputs only have to source just a few milliamps, two milliamps each to each one of these opto isolators. This totally isolates the RF board and the 1KW that's there. Right now it's in the bypass mode, it's lit by this. The problem I had was it takes 10 to 15 watts minimum for <clears throat> the, enough RF for the microprocessor or the sampling circuit no matter how I modified it for it to uh, to tune properly. So when you try it, I'm using a little MCHF, running just one watt into the, uh, the uh, HLA 300 plus, and before it gets a chance to tune, I will key it up, high SWR, 20 watts, and the typical problem with the uh, HLA 300 is it trips. Even with only 20 watts drive and a high reflected, it trips. So therefore, you can't get the tuner to work. So what I ended up doing was modifying the, uh, the circuit, not permanently, momentarily. Uh, anyhow, we'll reset it, normal method. Power off, power back on. And then what we'll do is we will key the radio. At the same time, I'm going to hold this override button. And we'll key the radio. And as you can see, the antenna relay, the antenna tuner tuned right away. No problem. And the reflected now is at 1.19. And we're starting with 18 watts. So there you go. If you've got a similar problem with your uh, HLA amp and uh, you only need to temporarily um, override it, you can probably, I haven't tried this, 
Uh, it's a very simple circuit for the override circuit, this SWR uh, protection on this. Um, there's a reflectometer, the output drives the gate of an SCR, the SCR trips and locks out the uh, transmitter. Um, all this mod does is the push button adds this potentiometer to ground across a 2K, existing 2.2K resistor. And it looks like around, oh, I adjust it to around 5, 6K and uh, I'm able to run 20 watts with any reflected and actually get the tuner to work. And I'm guessing you could do the same thing with, uh, <clears throat> if you were having real problems with the SWR circuit, you could permanently leave in a resistor that uh, was going to override or stop giving you false trips. Anyhow, that'll be another uh, another article, but for now, uh, success. I've got both projects working now, and uh, I've been wanting to do that for the long a long time on the uh, the RM300. There you go, success.